In this video, we're going to show you how to change the needle, changing the upper thread to use the longer spool pin, threading the machine, and how to adjust the tension. To change the needle in the machine, make sure to raise the needle to the highest position. Take the top thread out of the needle. Hold the needle and loosen the needle clamp screw. On some versions, you will have a notch, so you can use a coin to loosen the screw. Other versions do not have the notch and you will need to use pliers to loosen the needle. Remove the old needle. Insert the new needle into the clamp with the flat side of the needle towards the back of the machine, making sure the eye is straight facing right to left on the machine. Push the needle all the way up into the bar before tightening the needle clamp screw. Once the needle is in position, tighten the screw, first with your fingers, then with a coin or with pliers. After replacing the needle, use the hand wheel and hand crank the needle up and down a few times to make sure that it is stitching and that it is not hitting anything. That lets you know that the needle is positioned correctly. Once you know the needle is in the correct position, you can go ahead and use the machine as normal. To change the upper thread to use the large spool pin, go ahead and remove the bo upper bobbin and the bobbin pin. Carefully slide these off, unthread the machine. Make sure to note that there is a loose spring that sits on this peg. Be careful not to lose this in between changing out the pins. Insert the pin into the spool so that it turns in the counterclockwise direction. Once the spool is on the pin, go ahead and insert the pin into the machine until it's all the way. Note that if your spool is shorter, it will move, move freely on the pin. This is so it can accommodate spools of different lengths. To thread the machine, take the tail of the thread and insert it through the first thread guide. Push the thread down into the tension discs. Insert the thread through the second thread guide. Insert it through the thread take-up lever. Turn the machine forward. Insert the thread through the third thread guide. To insert the thread into the fourth thread guide, it is easier to lower the presser foot and hand crank the needle to the lowest position. Now insert the thread through the fourth thread guide, which is right here underneath the arm. Lift the presser foot and hand crank the needle to the highest position and thread the needle. In the handle, you'll find a threader to assist you with this task. It may be easier to lower the presser foot to give yourself some more room. Slide the threader through the needle. Slide the tail of the thread through the wires of the threader. Pull the threader back through the eye of the needle. Your machine is now threaded. Go ahead, lift the presser foot, and pull the top thread and bobbin thread to the back of the machine. You are now ready to sew. To check and adjust the tension on the machine. When you're ready to sew, take a scrap piece of fabric and run it through the machine to check your stitches. If your upper tension is too tight, you can correct this by turning the tension dial counterclockwise. Only turn the tension dial in small increments and test in between each turn until you correct the tension. If your upper tension is too loose, the bottom thread will lay straight on your fabric. You can correct this by adjusting the tension dial by turning it clockwise, again in small increments, testing in between each turn. Once your thread tension is correct, the top stitch and the back stitch should look the same. Here are a few things to look for if you're having trouble with poor stitches. First, make sure the upper thread is threaded correctly through the machine. Make sure the presser foot is in the down position. Check that the needle is fully inserted into the needle bar. Double check the position of your needle, making sure the eye goes from the right to the left. 
make sure that your needle is straight and not bent. Check your lower thread to make sure that the bobbin is positioned correctly and that it is turning in the right direction. Make sure you're always using a class 15 metal bobbin. If you use the wrong size bobbin in the bottom, the machine may sew incorrectly. Make sure your tension is correct, that the upper threading is not too tight or too loose. Now that we've covered how to change the needle, change the upper thread to use the longer spool pin, and how to thread the machine, you're ready to sew.